The idea here is to make use of an old um, discarded, broken, or malfunctioning garden or garage faucet um, using very simple modifications. Turn it into a reliable, robust water pump uh, to be used in the garden or <clears throat> around the house that will suck up, <clears throat> discharge all kinds of uh, fluids, including muddy or dirty water, sewage that might be leaking under the house, that sort of thing. Not requiring any um, any power to run, any electricity, and being uh, resistant to clogging and, and other malfunctions with no moving parts. So, um, we remove the handle and the collar. What we're going to do is convert this from a faucet where the water comes in through the feed and normally would have gone out here. Instead, and it would have been controlled by this valve, instead we're going to convert it so that the water comes in the same place but goes out through the center of the old valve stem. And in doing so, it's going to make use of the Venturi effect to draw fluid in from where it used to go out. To do that, we'll remove the valve stem and we're going to modify it. And here we have uh, already gone through the modification. Let me point out the changes. First and foremost, a hole is drilled through the valve stem. Here originally were threads to hold the handle on and threads for a screw to hold the gasket on. Those are both removed. In this case, this was broken anyway at the end of this valve stem, so it's just been ground off to make a nice surface. And a little bit of bevel added to the end, facets added to the two sides so that we can get a, a wrench on that to tighten it without having a handle on it, and about a 1 16th inch hole drilled through from the threaded area through the solid area to the threaded areas on the other side. So now there's a hole through that that converts it into a kind of nozzle. And um, grooves ground with the edge of a grindstone uh, uh, um, grinding wheel in the threaded area, four of them. We also grind grooves matching that in the throat of the um, of the valve area. So let's put that in. And tighten it so that the grooves in the stem area line up with the grooves in the throat and uh, the seal is tight at the bottom. Those four channels that are formed will then be where the drawn-in fluid is pulled in from here and added to the uh, stream of water that comes out of the nozzle in the, uh, the jet that's created. Then the collar that used to be around there I reamed out, here it is already done, so that it will serve as a retaining ring around a diffuser. And this diffuser I made by just slight modification of, uh, I'm not sure what originally is, something that was kicking around from the American Heart Association, uh, cut off the end and the resulting piece is almost perfectly uh, shaped already 
for a diffuser with a converging section and a diverging section. A little bit of reaming smooths it out inside and makes it just about perfect for this job. So we put that on over the, the um, injector or nozzle, put the retaining ring in place, and screw that in. And that's the pump. Then we just need to put on an adapter for a standard hose, garden hose connection where the water used to come in, feed water. And this will still be feed water in, in the pump configuration. So that's it. That's the entire pump ready to be hooked up um, to a standard garden hose on the input side. And um, water then will come in, go out through the diffuser, drawing in water again. A standard garden hose can be hooked onto that to draw water, air, sewage, whatever, into the pump and then out through the diffuser uh, to which uh, a cut hose can be attached and clamped on to extend its length. Um, to direct it to wherever you want to discharge the, the mixed water mixed from the input and from the suction. So the pump is now on. Water is feeding in and shooting out through the diffuser. Um, right now it's sucking air but I'll put it into this glass of somewhat dirty water and the water goes down. If I suck air for a while, it doesn't matter. Just put it back in again and it sucks. I need to back flush, lock that in, and water goes back into the jar. prevent the back flush and it sucks again. <laughs>